There are reports this morning that Senator Hillary Clinton has told her supporters to stop questioning if Caroline Kennedy is qualified to replace her. Kennedy is the latest in a long line of high-profile candidates who have sought a Senate seat. So, what actually qualifies someone to be a senator? Here's CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant. My opponent has talked and talked, but... She's done nothing for New York. Former Congressman Rick Lesio was talking about Hillary Clinton when she first ran. Caroline Kennedy is also getting flack, even from members of her own party. New York Congressman Gary Ackerman said, quote, I don't know what Caroline Kennedy's qualifications are, except that she has name recognition, but so does J-Lo. Yes, but... Name recognition is huge if you're running in a big state. Caroline Kennedy is just the latest celebrity to seek a Senate seat. In 1974, astronaut John Glenn won a Senate seat in Ohio. Bill Bradley won election to the Senate from New Jersey in 1979. So what does it take to be a senator? The Constitution says only that you must be 30 years old, a citizen of the U.S. for at least nine years, and a resident of the state in which you're running. But these days, there's something else you need. Money. The person appointed to fill Senator Clinton's seat will have to run again on his or her own in two years. And then again, two years after that, when Clinton's term would have expired. Takes a lot of cash. But wait, there's more. Governor Patterson of New York, who will appoint the person to fill that Senate seat, has to run in two years. Who wouldn't want to run with a Kennedy on the ticket who can raise lots of cash? Bill Plant, CBS News, the White House. We are joined now by Reverend Al Sharpton and Susan Molinari, a former congresswoman from New York. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Reverend, let me ask you first. You got a call from Caroline Kennedy. What did she say? She said she was uh, very interested in running and that if the governor appointed her, she would serve. And uh, I've known her work in education and in other areas in the state. I told her I was not supporting anyone this particular decision would be made by Governor Patterson, and mm -hmm. I would trust his judgment. But I think that she's qualified to run, and I, I encouraged her to. I told her that when someone told me that someone with a high-profile name that had never held office couldn't make it well in the Senate, that person was Hillary Clinton when she came to Harlem mm -hmm. to my headquarters. Right. She's succeeding someone that had faced the same arguments yeah. if, in fact, the governor appoints her. The thing about Hillary Clinton, though, she went county to county to county to county to county in her run for the Senate in New York State. Susan Molinari, this is retail politics. If you want to, if you exactly. want to do this for a living, do you think, I mean, we don't know that much about, about Caroline Kennedy, if she has that kind of fire in her belly? Well, and I, and I think that's it. I think you have, you've hit the nail on the head. Should she have an opportunity? I mean, look, she seems very, you know, uh, articulate, intelligent, um, has done, you know, great philanthropic work for the city of New York. But you've hit the nail on the head. It, you need to have, particularly at a time like this, you need to be able to have almost, you know, excuse the, the expression, but razor blades on your elbows. Whoever represents New York State going into all this uh, major problems that we're going to be having over the economy, there's going to be major fights for the, the TARP funds. Do they go to the, 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 the companies in Michigan or the banks in New York? Um, you know, highway bills, stimulus packages. It's going to be New York versus every other state. Does she have sort of that gumption to get in there and push mm. other states out of the way and yeah. fight for New York? And that goes to the fire in the belly. And that is one thing Senator Clinton was able to accomplish during her listening tour. Right. At the end of that, before the election, mm -hmm. people sat back and said, she's willing to do the retail right. politics. She changed we don't a lot know of minds, yeah. Right. Is. Reverend Sharma, yeah, but think? I think that's a bogus argument. The reason that uh, Caroline Kennedy is not uh, having to go county by county is she's filling a seat the governor resigned. Mm. No one in the running here is going county to county. This right. is one man's right. decision, so sure. it's not a fair comparison. Gotcha. Yeah. We will see if she can go county to county mm -hmm. if she's chosen. And remember now, the Republicans, in all due respect to Susan Molinari, who I have respect for, they gave us a billionaire, Mayor Bloomberg, for mayor of New York, who no one thought could do retail politics. Right. They've given us Arnold Schwarzenegger, who had never done a great A movie, less known around the state. So, I mean, all <laughs> yeah. of a sudden, now they have a different set of qualifications for Carol. Caroline Kennedy. <laughs> and here's the thing, Susan Molinari, the difference between campaigning for Barack Obama, you're riding business class, you start running for Senate, you're back in coach. There's a whole well, different you're, you're deal. Back Bloomberg and coach in the media. The plane. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, <laughs> Real quick, Susan. Well, well, there are some exceptions, and the media is going to treat her uh, much differently. So we'll see how she holds up. Uh, Look, it's great that everybody wants to serve in public. So